How do I write a bill? Purpose, passion, and a plan. Establish your assets, strategize the outcome before it happens. Identify the problem, create a solution. Citizen advocacy, anyone could do it. Create a grassroots coalition, create a team. Create a team, keep that team motivated, keep that team inspired. Prepare for the long haul. The legislative process is exhausting. Lobby, create your own content, keep it short, concise, to the point you have three to five minutes to pitch your bill. How do I get meetings, phone calls, emails, and show up? Show up. How do I effectively communicate with my elected officials? I've kind of already explained that. Kill them with kindness. Just be, be you. Be, be a good hearted, sincere and genuine person and they will listen to you. Make yourself hard to hate. Man, that guy's bugging me so much, but he's a nice guy. I want to help him. Follow up, get some nice cards, send some cards, send thank you letters. I really enjoyed our time together. Call them by their name. Their first name. Build that, create that relationship. And again, it's not always talking business. Ask them how their son's soccer game was. Hey, how was the event you went to in, in, in DC the other night? Was that fun? Tell me about it. Oh, wow, that's cool. Oh, wow, you had ahi to uh, tuna. Oh, wow, I really like that too. You know what, I've been on some fishing trips. Find that commonality, build, make friends with them. How do I have my voice heard? The same way I've, I've been talking. Fight honorably. Do not go in there and embarrass yourself. Do not go in there and embarrass your family name. Follow through. That's the hard part. That's staying on top of it and remaining in front of them. This is remaining relevant. Again, this is the most important. Kill them with kindness. Kill them with kindness. Kill them with kindness because they are getting hit in every direction. You need to stand out. You need to stand out. And that's where your content and how you dress and how you present yourself and how you speak is, is how they're going to remember you. Do not lose your bearing. You cannot show frustration. It, it's like a pitcher, a major league pitcher, or really any pitcher. You're doing great and you're striking everybody out and you're in the zone and man, you're just, you've got it going. And then there's the pitcher that gets in there in the first inning and gets lit. He's already got six runs up, bases are loaded, got one out. You know, they've already hit around the, you know, they've, they're starting to hit, to, to hit around for the second time. And that pitcher starts to show emotion and it's negative emotion. After every pitch, he's hit his glove on his leg and, and he's angry and, and, and he's taking that walk around the mound and he's shaking his head and he picks up the rosin bag and, he, and he, he's just mad and he's letting out this negative emotion. Congress picks up on that too, and so do their staffers. If you go in there and it, if in any way you show that negative emotion, the hitters are gonna know, and they're gonna jump all over you on that because now you're not gonna be mentally prepared for the game, because that's what this is, folks, it's a game. It's a game, it's a game. So if you don't show, if, 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 if you keep your composure and you don't show that frustration, You'll be fine. You cannot show your emotion. And this is why I was effective in Congress. I never talked about Brian Talley. I talked about 20.2 million American veterans being at risk. I spoke in third person. It wasn't about my story. It was creating a solution to a problem and staying on that mission from start to finish and not changing it. Once I started it, I didn't change anything. The, the bill and the mission remained the same to close the loophole. 